Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today we're going to go a little deeper into a Cronus True Image 2019. Now, you think it gets a bias video. It is not. And today we're going to be going over the functions that you see here. And we're going to go through the functions you see here as quickly as we can. This clone disk. This utility helps you clone your operating system applications and data to a new disk. The new disk will be identical to your old one and the system bootable will be kept. So if you wanted to immediately clone your disk, you can simply just click this little button here. Click next. Choose your boot drive. As you can see, I have a ton of drives in here. And the one that I would be using would be this one. And we click next. And then we pick a drive that we want to copy to. Simple as that. It's very, very simple. It's kind of busy right now. I have a lot of stuff going on. I'm in the process of moving data off of a particular uh, drive, actually drive C. And, uh, and that is it. You pick a drive and a clone to it, and then you're done. So if you have like a... An, an external another or, or yeah an external hard drive or a, if you have a hard drive dock that you want to use and you want to clone it to another solid state or if you want to clone it to a mechanical drive you could do that and then you have an exact replica of what you have well we're not going to do that because i don't have anything available to do that with <laughs> and i don't want to waste time watching paint dry as it does the backup so that is that simple a rescue media builder now this is what I like the most when you purchase a product this is this will not be available as a uh, demonstration product or like a trial version of this um, meaning that if you make a bootable ISO it will be in demo mode it will not work until you purchase the product okay I just want to let you know so we'll go to advanced and you have two options here for media if you want to do um, personal edition based media or you want to do Linux based or we can go simple and then you can choose what you want so ISO file we're gonna boot off of CD we're gonna boot off a local drive now these are externals these are USB externals so uh, so that's the difference here so if I want to make that a bootable drive for my media destination that would be a mistake because I would blow these drives up so 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 if you want to do an ISO file, we click on ISO file here. We choose the location of where we want to store this. And then we use any particular software that you like to use to make ISOs. It could be Nero Burning ROM. It could be uh, the built-in version that's in Windows 10 or Windows 7, whichever you're using. And then you could create your ISO and then you have a bootable media. Now, I like doing it that way because you can boot off the disk or the thumb drive whichever one you want to do and then you could do your restore or backups that way as well versus using it directly from the operating system like this so let's do universal restore let me explain what this does now if you are moving from different platforms say you're going from an AMD and you go into an Intel obviously the chipset is different drivers are not gonna load so what this does it makes everything generic for the booting of the media so in other words you're not gonna get a blue screen that says uh, IRQ 7b can't find media or can't find hard drive bullshit you know what I mean that won't happen all right so when you do it with this and that's huge because if you're going from like say for argument's sake I I, I I did a parallel move or I did a sideway move. I want to go to a 370 chipset Intel and I have a 399. It won't work if I cloned it and just put the hard drive in the other computer. It'll crash It'll over and over again because I can't find because the drivers are loading for the 399 chipset and it's and 370 doesn't know that and boom it explodes. So that's the point of this and that is huge. So if you want to go from if you don't want to reinstall all your you know 17 programs you have on your computer um, you can't find it or whatever this gives you the opportunity to, to, a, to be able to move from hardware to hardware without pulling your hair out trying to find all the software packages that you installed and waste all that time so that's what this allows you to do so we could do the download here and it downloads this MSI 
Okay. Okay. It says, Cronus Universal Restore Bootable Media Builder has been successfully installed, closed to exit. All right, so now we go back to Universal Restore. And then here we go. Now, I never did this because I never planned on moving from different platforms to different platforms, but this is how it's done, how you want it to represent. And so this is great information here because it's Linux-based, so you can make it uh, Windows-based. This is kind of nice. So Windows-like representation, you click Next. Any additional parameters that you may need, I don't know of them offhand. I'm sure you can click Help and find out. Click Next, select the Acronis components to place on the bootable media. Universal, we'll do both. The, UFE, uh, the uh, UEFI support and 32-bit just in case. And then where you want to create the DVD bootable media for this to, to, to take place. So we can select the, the DVD ROM drive, which is actually a Blu-ray drive, and then click Next, and then it'll create media, a bootable disk, and then be able to do a, a, a restore. So that's how that's done. It's, it's, it seems real, very complicated, but it's really not. Once you go through the steps, it'll be A-OK. -okay. All right, so let's go to parallel access. Now, this is interesting. I don't see the point of this. I don't have it. I mean, I do have it in my subscription, but I don't see the need to demonstrate that. Obviously, if I can make a separate video just to do that, but we're not going to go into that today. Uh, then we have try and decide, but that is only if you have a demo product a trial version of the product so if I click on this it'll actually fail it'll say it, the try and decide is off so this doesn't really matter okay uh, system cleanup this is very useful um, it'll go through your, your your hard drive and clean up things that it doesn't need to be there like scan complete 510 items found below the detailed list so if you want to see what's in here recycle bin all the unnecessary things I probably don't need. We have that to do that. So we're not going to do that. Uh, a Cronus Secure Zone. Now, this is interesting. So, manage a Cronus Secure Zone Wizard. A special protected partition for storing backups on your disk. So, it actually would protect it under a password. So, if I created a backup of my system and I don't want anybody just to grab it and restore it, that would be unsecure. So, I would be able to put a password on that um, file backup that I just created. All right, now, a Cronus Drive Cleanser. This is this is a very dangerous tool. Okay, this will wipe. This will put ones and zeros on your media. Okay, so whatever drive you select and click next and 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 you select the algorithm. I am not going anywhere near this right now because I don't want to accidentally blow up my drives. I'm doing big video editing stuff right now. I can't have anything explode. So um, we're going to hit cancel on this. <laughs> so if you wanted to format a drive, more than format, because if you format a drive, believe it or not, there is a second fat table on that drive, and, and everything can be recovered without your knowledge, just so you know. So where this prevents that from happening. It kind of runs ones and zeros across your entire drive to prevent anything like I just explained to you happening. Third-party tools. This is if you did any add-ons. This page shows you all of the tools that are necessary, well not necessary, optional, I should say, for a Cronus backup, True Image 2019. It applies to 2018, 17, and obviously the newer version 19 that we're using now. So you have Log Viewer, you have custom Windows PE based media builder. You have all these different, well, all, very few. <laughs> I say all, but there are additional tools if you want to add them on to Acronis, which is interesting. Okay. So now we go to, if I click on all tools, this will bring every tool up in a shortcut window, such as this. And here is everything, just like you saw here. But now you have all of them in a shortcut form. And that's it with the tools. So anyway, guys, if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care, and we'll see you next time.